For a long time, one of the biggest things you kind of had to watch out for with some phone brands, some OEMs, would be something called bloatware. You would buy your phone, you'd get it set up, and you'd open it up, it'd have all kinds of random apps on it that you have no use for, no desire to have, and you could go through and uninstall a lot of them, but some of them just would not allow themselves to be uninstalled. That is largely not as big of a problem anymore these days, but it still does happen from time to time. And unfortunately, even with the brand new OnePlus open, there are at least a couple of things that are, I would consider bloatware. Now, a lot of it can be uninstalled, but there are some things that cannot be uninstalled. So we are on my OnePlus open. We're looking at the apps screen. And if you come up here and you search, type in Meta, Meta App Installer, Meta App Manager, Meta Services. And if you click on one of them, you'll see that disable is your only option. And that might be good enough for a lot of people, but I would like to fully uninstall them. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to try to use ADB to fully uninstall them. So the first thing you're going to want to do on your OnePlus Open is go to your About Device section in your settings. You're going to click on Version, and then you're going to click on Build Number a bunch of times until it pops up and says you are a developer. At that point, you can go to, I think it's Additional Settings, and then come down here to Developer Options. Scroll down and look for USB debugging. Turn that on. Plug your phone into your computer and make sure that when you pull down your notifications here that you are set to transferring files via USB. Now there are some files that we're gonna, if you already have ADB on your computer, great, skip this step. If not, I'll show you where to get it from. So you're gonna come to this webpage in the description where you're going to download this stuff. Come down, download the platform tools for Windows, extract it, probably gonna go in your downloads folder right click it, it's a zip file, extract it. And at the end of the day, you're gonna have a folder that looks something like this. You're gonna be missing quite a bit of these things like screen copy, duo recovery commands. Uh, this is also going to be missing, but you're gonna have like these files here. I put mine in the root of my C drive. So I go C and then I make a folder called ADB and I put it there. And the reason for that is it just makes things a heck of a lot easier. Because whenever you want to use this, what you're going to do is hit your start button, type in CMD, hit enter, this opens up command prompt, and then you're going to have to do a change directory. So you're going to do CD, C, colon, slash, ADB. See, mine is easy because that's where it is. At that point, you can do like ADB devices, and you should see that is my OnePlus open there. So we are up and running. Once you run a command like this, or it may just be when you go to ADB, it kind of seems slightly inconsistent. You'll get a pop-up on your phone that asks you if you want to allow this connection to happen. Tick a box, hit allow, and you're good to go. Now we need to figure out what commands we need to do. And the first we're going to do is PM list packages because we need to get a list of these installed applications, but I forgot I have to do ADP shell first, then PM list packages should give us a list of everything installed on my phone. But we want to kind of narrow this down. So let's do PM list packages. I don't know what you call this vertical line, but that's what it is. G-R-E-P and then we're going to search meta. And I was hoping that would just give us an easy answer, but I don't think either one of these are the correct package. So give me a second. I'm going to try to find out what these are. There are a ton of these to go through. So just give me a second and uh, I'm going to find them real quick. and <laughs> We'll get these things uninstalled out. So one of them is com.facebook.system. So we're going to copy that. We're going to scroll all the way back down here. We're going to do adb uninstall com.facebook.system. Let's hit that. And of course, I forgot that I need to type exit before executing this command because I'm still in the shell. I keep forgetting things. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. And it says it's uninstalled. If we come back over here, we have indeed lost one of these applications. So two more to go. Okay, there's another one, Facebook App Manager. So we're going to copy that. We're going to come down here. We're going to do adb uninstall com.facebook.appmanager. Let's hit enter. We come back over here. Only got one left, guys. We're making progress. I'll put these in the description so you don't have to just do this. I'll just put the commands that are make it easy for you. Maybe you'll enjoy watching me struggle to find them, though. As you can see here, I tried to do a search for just Facebook, and because my brain doesn't work right, I didn't type in the word packages, and it didn't work, but I just realized that, so I did that search again, and I got these three. So we've done system. We've done app manager. We need to do services. So let's do the ADB uninstall 
boom, services, back over here to picture in picture, they are all gone. Now, it is possible that when a system update is done for this device, that those things may pop back up and you may need to do this again. Not a huge deal. You'll have the commands in the description of this video. Just plug it in and run these commands. You'll literally just have to, you'll literally just have to plug the thing in and just copy and paste these three commands in and you'll be done and they will be gone. Now, how much of a difference will this make? Were they really doing a lot in the background? Probably not, but I don't want them on my phone. Maybe you don't either. And if that's the case, you can remove them and this works on any phone. If there's some built-in system thing and you don't want it, you can uninstall it do this at your own risk, this might break things. You can uninstall pretty much anything, even things that you don't want to uninstall. So don't go around just uninstalling stuff willy-nilly. Keep it to stuff you know you can do without, like meta services and things like that. So again, everything you need should be in the description down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.